We are here in Spectacle Island, which is my main base. This is a little prologue to the test of the mod called Don't Call Me Settler. This mod has a lot of features, which I'm all covering in uh, or testing and, and talking about in, in this uh, video. Now, uh, after making the video, something just hit me. Um, one of the huge features of this mod, uh, apart from, of course, naming your settlers and doing all sorts of really cool stuff, which you'll see, uh, it has a feature called Burn Baby Burn, which burns all of those dead bodies lying about. You know, the, the, the settlers that never disappeared, the ghouls, I mean, Sunshine Tidings have a lot of them, Coop Manor, Spectacle Island, this place has a lot of them, um, and uh, so on, yeah, everywhere. Anyway, something, suddenly I just, uh, something just hit me. What if I uninstall the mod? Will those bodies that I burned with this mod still be gone? Or will they be back? So, what I've done now, I have uninstalled the mod, Okay, so you will see that uh, if I go over to a settler here, he'll be called settler. It's all just settlers. So you see the mod is uninstalled. No names, so no mod. So let's run down here and check. Let's run, run, run down here, down the hill. Here is a place where there is a dead body under here. And look! He's gone! He's still gone! No body! So, we can run. I'll just pause it and I'll run over to the other place. It's a little shack who has like two or three dead bodies lying. Here you go. This is that little shack. You see this... Uh, you see where the big uh, huge antenna is there? That is where uh, that little place where you have to connect the electricity and everything uh, is. Right? And this is the... It, this is a little shack. And here there were two or three bodies lying. They were dead. Which never disappeared, you know. And look now, it's gone! So, you know, now I can, you know, I don't know, have a couple of chairs here or make a little bar or something here. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Just a little bar here, a bar area. Yes, another bar for Spectacle Island. Absolutely! So that is a little prologue to this uh, mod review is that if you install the mod and just want to get rid of those bodies use the burn baby burn uh, thing get rid of the bodies uninstall the mod and they'll still be gone isn't that awesome yes that is awesome okay now that you've seen that you can just start the test Today we are going to take a look at a mod called uh, Don't Call Me Settler by A1A3A6A9. This mod has so many cool features, I don't need, I don't know where to start. Uh, it's an awesome mod, it really is, it's so helpful, it makes life so much easier, OMG. So let's just start. Uh, I have uh, this game now on the pause menu because I this save is uh, in the middle of a settlement attack, which um, you will understand in just a second. Just bear with me. Uh, let's just read the main features here. Main features is of course giving settlers names. Uh, it gives job titles and all sorts of things. Uh, you have many options for when you recruit settlers. We'll go into that too. Uh, the second biggest feature, I think, with this mod is the burn baby burn feature. It gets rid of those ghouls lying about and the dead bodies that, you, you know, never disappears. Now you can burn them. So when you burn them, uh, you get a little ash pile there. So at first I thought, oh no, now I gotta have these ash piles lying around, around me, right? So just to teleport it out of there, I stayed away for 12 hours and I went uh, back there and the ash piles were gone. So they just, they disappear. They disappear. I mean, oh, it's just, it's lovely. And the same is um, 
is for uh, if you have an attack and uh, there's gunners and raiders lying about you can choose to just burn them and what's neat about it is that it puts all of their inventory in your workshop so I have this huge settlement in Spectacle Island and for me to point one find the dead bodies is just almost impossible and then you know run back to put all of the stuff in the workshop is also a hassle because the settlement is huge it's huge so that uh, feature is also awesome uh, it has a lot of features we'll get into them uh, but we just have to start somewhere um, uh, it has, you know, you can auto assign your settlers to to resources. You can have you can have the settlers follow you around uh, if you want to, you know, run to where you want to assign specific settlers to. Um, it gives uh, your um, your uh, what you call provisioners. Uh, it will of course give them a name, but it also say where the other people have job titles like farmer and uh, trader and all that sort of thing it'll say which route they have so we have if you have a settler between sanctuary and red Ro rocket it will say uh, sanctuary red rocket in the title it's awesome um, it um, names uh, settlers that you had before and settlers that comes and pre other settlers all settlers get uh, names and it uses uh, a name list that Codsword uh, is using you can also lock your own bed in the settlement so the settlers don't use your bed easy to unlo unlock it now in the comment section of the mod it's uh, said that uh, there was several people experiencing that uh, the game froze when they slept but I have not experienced that I've tested it for some time now with different characters and uh, I haven't experienced that no freezing of the game so I don't know I don't know what that is I have no idea um, yeah, you can track your damage resources uh, and you know the quests and that's why I paused the game uh, where it gets, you know, you go help defend blah 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 so you run over there and you help defend blah 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 but the quest never completes and then you find out that oh, there was a super mutant stuck in the wall well, now you will know where that super mutant is stuck because this puts a little quest target over the heads of uh, the attackers of the settlement so that is really really a fantastic uh, thing it uh, also says that um, it uh, names all dogs and cats uh, that comes from uh, the DLC workshop cages or animal paradise feature it also will make them tradable and I tested it this in Far Harbor with a, um, an animal there and I could trade with that animal um, it uh, makes the canine sold by Ericsson uh, tradable and again I tested it and I can trade with that canine and uh, that can also be uh, toggled uh, it has a lot, lot of stuff but let's just start off with running off to Sanctuary because that is now being attacked and we, you will just see what happens <laughs> so did you see that? this sound here this is from this mod you get this siren sound when a settlement is being attacked and you see down there uh, you see, uh, one unassigned settler at Abenothi Farm. Uh, so I can press X to start, call unassigned settlers, or Y, uh, power the general. But I'm not going to do that, I'm going to run over to Sanctuary. So let's just first um, talk about those quest targets there on my um, compass there. That is that quest. Let's just see here. Let's go into the pit boy and see if we have a quest for it. And there it is. Target acquired neutralized gunner conscript at Sanctuary Hills. Help defend Sanctuary Hills. So we'll just run over there. Hope Ada kills those flies for me. She usually does. She is an amazing companion. There we go. And we are approaching. 
And the lagging here it has nothing to do with the mod. This is how my game is because I have built way too much in this world. <laughs> so that's what you get for doing that. As you can see, I built up all the houses that were destroyed in concrete and all that, and you know, you get punished by doing stuff like that. Target neutralized, so you know, my settlers are doing the job. Target acquired. Go, there's the gunner, let me kill him. Yes. They are dead. The ten unassigned settlers at Central Hill. Exit start uh, call assigned settler, press Y to start power of general. We don't want to do any of that, so let's just not do anything. And uh, that press X and press uh, Y, that is a little... So hold X to start burn baby burn, but we're not, we are going to go into the pit boy because that is a little fiddly. Sometimes that pressing the X when it tells me to press the X works, and other times it hasn't worked. But it always works when I go into the pit boy, into the menu. So was that it? No, nope. there's more. We have a quest target and now it's gone because it's been neutralized. Neutralize target. Yes, sorry. So let's just run over here and see if that was all of them. No, we have more hostiles over here. Yeah, there's a gunner. And he's stuck there, so let's just kill him off. Away you go. Target neutralized. And you get a uh, all clear message when the... There we go, all clear. Press X to start burn baby burn and I could do that but I'm not going to because we are going into the menu so I'll show you where it is there. So now our quest is completed we have helped Sanctuary. Here's a gunner with all sorts of stuff in him and you saw there was a couple of them down there so let's just go into the pit boy here. Go to inventory and to misc. Settings don't call me settler. There we go. And we go to, um, I think it was toolbox. And burn baby burn, just press A button and exit the uh, pit boy. Like that. And it's supposed to burn. Burn gunner. Yep. Burn gunner conscript. Burn gunner. And he's gone. Oh, isn't that nice, huh? Oh, that is so nice. Burn skeleton! Okay, so there was a skeleton here, I didn't know that. You see, his stuff is gone, but his gun's here, now that's interesting. Maybe because that was lying on the ground, but the rest of his stuff is gone, so that's supposed to be in the uh, workshop. So, let's just uh, say hello to the settlers, you know, the main uh, feature of this mob. Hey, Carson! And nice to meet you and glad to help. Absolutely. Oh yeah, you have like a thousand in uh, in turret uh, help. But uh, sure, Carson. <laughs> and uh, over here, what do you, who do we have here? Here we have. Oh gosh, yeah. I don't like these people. Uh, here we go, Eden. Hi, Eden. Nice to meet you. And who's this? This is Brooke! Hi Brooke! Nice to meet you! Now let's run over here to our little store a area and we'll see if they have names. Let's see. Genie! Hi! Now let's see. See Genie doesn't have a description, does she? No. She's just called Genie. So let's go into the pit boy to the settings here and let us go into toolbox. And we will go to... Here it is. It's under More Options. When you go to Settlement Toolbox, you go to More Options, you press on that, and you can activate and deactivate the feature here. Now I have activated it. So I activated it uh, before I started the recording again. So let's just go out now and uh, see. And there she is, Jeannie the tailor. Isn't that nice, huh? 
Yes, that is nice, isn't it? So, uh, I think it starts off with uh, the job titles and you can choose to uh, to deactivate it. And I have tested this mod a couple of times now. See, he's a scavenger. Now, one thing, the provisioners will not get names. These are old provisioners. I had them as provisioner a long, long time ago. And I uh, also reassigned them to scavenge stations instead, and they just stayed provisioner. They don't get names, so that's a little sad, but there you go. All of the others have names. So the postman is Herbert. Hi, Herbert! And here you have Brooke, yes. So there you go, that's it for the names. Now we covered the settlement attacks and we covered the names section. Now let's uh, stay with the settlers. You can also choose... Uh, what's your name? Eden. Yes, that's true. Um, you can also choose... Uh, let's just check here the remains. Yes, this one has the laser. So the guns does not uh, get transported into the workshop, it looks like. It's uh, everything else. So, yes, the guards get uh, renamed. I just wanted to check that, and they do. So it's only the old provisioners. The guys who's been called uh, provisioner will just stay provisioner, it looks like. Let's just check and see if we can see if we got our things in the workshop. And yes, Dirty army fatigues, helmet, gunner shirt, gunner harness, gunner green bandana and sunglasses. So that's awesome. The stuff do get uh, uh, moved into your workshop. Yes, the settlers. You can choose to make your settlers immortal or you can choose that only you can uh, kill them or um, that everybody can kill them. So here, can be killed by anyone, just a player, or immortal. So let's just try essential. Here we go, processing. And I think it's said that I had that, yeah, probably from the previous test, I bet. Okay, you can change it. But the only little oops here is that if you change it, it will say current the same as you had, right? But it just takes a little time for uh, this program to update. So uh, when you exit the pit boy, I tested this now three times. When you exit the pit boy, it will have updated the change. So let me try and kill Eden here now. Things that I never do. I don't kill my settlers. So I did it once when I tested it, but that made me feel horrible. <laughs> so you see, I'm sorry, Eden. I really am, but she's fine. Yeah, yeah, that I would imagine after that bullet. I'm sorry. Oh gosh, I hope she can forgive me. What did you say? It? How do you think? Yeah. So there you go. You can choose that, which is very neat if you want your settlers to wear normal clothes, but you don't have the bottle caps or the resources, you know, to give them ballistic weave, or you haven't done that quest yet. Um, Yes, so that was settlers covered, I think. Let me just check the list here. Um, so that we are... Give me one second. Yes, we have the spawn thing. Okay, you can choose. When you uh, attract settlers for the very first time, now you can go in here to the settings and you can choose what uh, sex your uh, settlers are. So I can choose to have 100% female settlers all the way down to 100% male settlers. So you see everything in between here. 50, 50, 60, 40, 70, 30 and all that. So you can choose that. I've tested it and it works. I tested it two times and it works. No, three times actually and it works. You can also set the spawn rate. So you can have the vanilla rate, 1.5 the vanilla rate, two times or three times the vanilla rate and zero, which makes no settler spawn. So that is also really awesome. Also works, tested it and it works. You can also have something called 
cross spawn. Now I tested it so it's uh, active here. I think it's deactivated. I think you have to activate it, but that you'll see. It's no big. Th what this does is that this uh, makes it so that you can have those beautiful uh, Far Harbor settlers in, um, in the Boston area. Now I tested this in the Sunshine Tiding Co-op settlement and I only got the base game settlers there. Then I tested it in Hangman's Alley and there I got Far Harbor settlers. Actually, I got like uh, three settlers in, I don't know, I slept for 12 hours when I woke up at three settlers and all of them were Far Harbor. So that was really cool. And you know, the Far Harbor settlers are, uh, they're just so beautiful, as uh, they really are. And again, didn't work in Sunshine Tidings Coop, but then again, I don't think that is part of the Boston area. I think Boston is just the main uh, city there. Um, so that was that. You can also choose to have random height on your settlers. Uh, let me see here. That is something I haven't tested it for that long, so I can't really say if that uh, works. Uh, I didn't notice anything on the settlers that I got in Hangman's Alley, but again, that was only three of them. So, but everything else works here, so I think it works. I should think it would work. Um, you have message display options here. You can deactivate the se settler spawn message because you get a little message saying, Donna just arrived at your settlement, which I think is really cool. Or, you know, Roy has just arrived at your settlement. I, I love that. But you can deactivate it. And also for the Brahmin and um, uh, resource sorcerer, you can deactivate those messages. Lots of options here in the menu. You have something called animal options, and you can choose to uh, to activate it so that it names all of the cats and dogs. But you can deactivate it too. And you have animal paradise option where you set how many animals you want to attract. The only thing with this, uh, I don't know if I said so earlier, I can't remember now, but uh, uh, I'll repeat if I said it. Um, I have just had two, um, I had too many sectors in my settlement, so I can't test this. But uh, you have to have over 80 in happiness and you can have up to 10 animals. So there you go. Uh, and cats and dogs included, and I do. Th I'm not sure. Maybe cats and dogs was only if you have over 80 in happiness. It sounds logical, doesn't it? So you can choose that. Awesome, awesome. Because you know those, uh, especially the cats, give a lot of happiness to your settlements. Really does. Now let's go and uh, look at a. Um, at the toolbox. Uh, you have an option which is call unassigned settlers. So let's let's try that. Let's call unassigned settlers. Here in Sanctuary I have a lot of unassigned settlers. So let's see if it works. You press RS to quit, it says. So our total unassigned is 10 of 30. So let's see if they come. Come on, there's one stuck in the roof there, I saw you. Maybe she doesn't... Oh, there they are. Come on. Ah, that's cool. Isn't it? Let's see if they follow. And yes, they do. Look, look at them go. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, this away. Let's go for a little jog. <laughs> no, just kidding. Ah, we saw... Let's press on. Let's just go into the pit boy. <laughs> Love the music, isn't it? Absolutely. Okay, there it stopped, thank god. <laughs> oh yeah, that's it. Uh, burn baby, burn, we have covered. I did say that it burns the ghouls. Yes, I did. The dead ghouls, dead bodies, Spectacle Island, uh, Sunshine Tide and Coop is gone. Oh, it's so lovely. Uh, now you have a uh, feature called Power of the General. What this does is that it auto assigns your settlers to your resources. So if you have um, a lot of resources that are unassigned, let me put up a couple of shops here in Sanctuary so that we can uh, test this, uh, so that you, you'll see. 
that it actually does what it says. There's a couple of shops here and, and no. Yeah, just like okay, let's put up a um a um on the resources there a workbench. There we go. There. Now uh, the thing with the uh, this feature, the power of the general, it has two things that has to be fulfilled. You have to have um, uh, completed the quest Old Guns, which is a uh, Minuteman quest, and you can't be hostile towards the Minutemen. If you are hostile towards the Minutemen, the, this uh, feature will be disabled. And again, you can't use it until you finish that Old Guns quest. So, uh, I have done uh, both, I'm not hostile to the Minutemen, and you see now they're leaving. Um, and, uh, yeah, so let's just try it, let's try it. Let's go in, settings, uh, toolbox, yes, and here we have. You have two different ones, you have one called Power of the General, and you have one called Power of the General Commonwealth. Now, uh, Power of the General Commonwealth assigns settlers to resources that are unassigned throughout the world, in the entire world. Like in every every settlement you have will be assigned and we'll test it. But we'll start with Power of the General. So let's start with this, okay? Power of the General. Ready. Please exit the pit wall. Sending command. Let's exit. Anything happens. Relaying. There we go. We have music. <laughs> go out there and work, people. No more leisure time for you. Leisure time, is that the pronunciation? Not sure. Shit down, Slow, while we wait. Herbert, Lexi is assigned to food. Jean is assigned to Weapons Emporium, Brooke is assigned to Armistand, Bentley is assigned, Natalia to Scavenging Station. And if you noticed the order, see, two assigned to food, one zero to guard post because I don't have any guard posts, three assigned to shop and one assigned to workstations. So you see the order of the assignment also is correct because it said that the order of the assignment would be food, guards, uh, oh god, and now I can't remember. Food guards, you just saw it. <laughs> yes, it's uh, <laughs> food guard posts, shops, and workstation. That, that's uh, the order that the uh, um, uh, people will be assigned to the stuff to. So let's just check if it's correct. And, and there he comes, yes. Absolutely, this is a sign, and that has a peak, that has people, this has people. So, hi. She is, Brooke is now an armor smith, and uh, Bentley, he is nothing apparently. It's a little fiddly. It takes a little while for it to update, but it does. So, if we come back, so there you go. Yeah, there it goes. You see? It takes a little while. Now he's an armor smith. Good, good, good man, good man. So, uh, awesome, awesome, awesomeness all around. Uh, now, uh, give me another little second and I'll just check if I have uh, forgotten anything, which I might have. Yes, I do. Oh, God. Sorry about that. We were going to try the power of the general commonwealth too, so let's just jump into the menu. <laughs> yes, let's do that, into settings. And we go to the toolbox. There we go. And we do the Power of the General Commonwealth. We exit. Out we go. We gotta wait a little. Relaying the general commands to Abernathy Farm, to Egret Tours Marina, to Bunker Hill, because Kessler is a sound to food. Assigned to food. And there's a scavenging and uh, completed for Bunker Hill. Now we have Finch Farm. Abigail Finch is assigned to food. Here we go. 
to County Crossing. It has no unassigned re resources. Did you see that? Oblan Station has no unassigned resources. Sanctuary Hills. Sanctuary Hills, no unassigned. <coughs> Somerville. Mrs. Somerville is assigned to food. And Mr. Somerville, that is also kind of cool. You know the settlements that had people when you came there? Well, they are called like Mr. Somerville, or you have Mrs. Uh, what's it called, that settlement, uh, just not far from the first settlement you go to in the Minutemen quest. I can't remember now. But they're called Mrs. and Mr. Uh, this and that uh, settlement. Uh, it's really cool. The ones that were unnamed, of course, uh, like Abigail uh, at the Finn's farm, she's still called Abigail. So that's, uh, they won't mess with those names. Yeah, here we go all over the world. Janie Warwick, she's called Janie Warwick, see? Uh, so they don't change those names. Cedric Hopton is assigned. So, you know, we could. Savannah is assigned to food somewhere. Uh, yeah, probably in. Um, I have no idea. I didn't see, I didn't follow everything here. Covenant has no assigned resources. So, there you go, it just uh, assigns everything in the entire world, which is really awesome, I have to say. If you want to do that, then I don't want to do that, because I want them to just hang around and sit in the chairs and eat and stuff, so, you know. <laughs> there you go, that's me. Uh, let me check now that I have uh, gone through everything. Just give me a little second here. It says that it doesn't name gorillas, okay? Uh, and she says it, or he says that it's because I don't have a character that has completed the required quest so far. And I don't have any gorillas, so there we go. So I can't test that if that is correct that it doesn't have it. <laughs> but I guess he wouldn't say if he didn't. <laughs> okay, one more second here. There is the one thing I want to read here. Um, it has also support for a couple of mods that I haven't tested and that I do not have installed. Uh, so it's called, it says that uh, he or she has added support for craftable cats by MM137. It uses the skins from craftable cats to spawn cats captured by cagers or uh, attracted by settlements. Doesn't name those cats crafted with workshop menu. Uh, and it says, uh, added a script to miscellaneous section. The script clears all supply lines and sends provisioner back to their settlements. But it says, use it only when it's necessary. No guarantees, use at your own risk. And it says, uh, with huge lettering and red uh, writing, and it says, use just back up, back up, back up, uh, blah, blah, blah. So, sh I wouldn't use that if I were you. It doesn't look safe at all. So there you go. <laughs> it also says that this mod, uh, this mod uh, works uh, well with a mod called Better Settlers. I just have a quick glance at it and I think it looks like, uh, uh, you know, they get higher in level. I, they have the sa same level as you and stuff. I haven't uh, tested that. Uh, so I, I have no idea. But it says that it has support for it. Uh, the one thing that I haven't tested, that we're, I have tested it, but not here, here with you, but I'm going to show you, is the bed uh, feature, where you can have your own bed. I mentioned it, right? So let's just test it. Let's uh, head over to a bed that is occupied by someone, and you will see. Uh, like, uh, we just... let's run inside here. And that bed is occupied by someone. So let's just take that bed. And sleep for one hour. Let's do that. There we go. And see, now it's Rav's bed. So this is my bed. And I have I have checked this, I've tested it several times. Um, as you can see, the game hasn't frozen. And now it's like, this is, has to be like the eighth or ninth time I've slept in the bed and the game has still hasn't frozen for me um, but then again I have uh, just a couple of mods like a teleport you know fast travel because of the testing and mod and and the save mod installed uh, in addition to this mod so it might be maybe 
if you have a lot of mods installed, it, it can be problematic, but uh, not uh, not uh, for me now, anyways. So the settlers do not occupy the bed; it uh, stays yours, which is really really cool. Now let me just check uh, one more if I've forgotten anything else. Yes, the uh, Provisioner. So, uh, let's just uh, choose one of these uh, lovely people to be a Provisioner. And let's not, uh, not uh, do the old Provisioners, since they're just old Provisioners. So we'll see if they keep their names. So, let's see, let's... Uh, yeah, uh, Brielle here, she's undersigned. She can be a settler for this test. Supply line, absolutely. And you're going to... let's go to Starlight. Yes. There we go. And again, it can't take a second before it upstates. So let's just wait a little here. Let's just see if she is a provisioner again. Let's just check. Yes. I have tested it before and it worked. So there we go. Brielle, Sanctuary Hills Starlight Drive-In. Now isn't that nice? That is super helpful. I mean, I have come across these settlers you know, no prisoners out in the wild and I wanted to know where they were going and stuff and or you know, reassign them to another route or something. It's really it it, it really is uh, helpful. So that was that. Let's just pause it and I'll see if I've forgotten anything else. The only thing is, uh I forgot to show you how you unlock uh that bed. So if I just choose a settler like you, here we go. You are getting a new bed, you sure are. So I can just assign that bed to him. There we go. This resource is now assigned. Huh, it's still called Rav's bed, though, which is strange. Huh, okay. Maybe it just takes a while again? Could be, could be. Yeah, it just took a while. So there you go. Now it's just a bed and it is occupied. So it just took a, it just takes a little second. Uh, so don't fret if it's still call your bed. There we go. The other way of unassigning the bed is just to put it in the workshop and you know, just build it again. That's the other way you can do that. Um I think that was it. I think we talked about everything, haven't we? If I have forgotten anything, uh, you just let me know and I can make a uh, update video of uh, this mod. But uh, yeah, but the only thing I haven't tested is the animal features and I explained to you why, so that's it. So I just have to say, people, an uh, awesome, awesome, awesome mod which makes life so much easier, I have to say, it really does. So a huge applaud to the mod author, and I bet that everyone that's seen this video will be joining me in, in that uh, applaud. So go out people, have lots and lots of fun and enjoy a less frustrated uh, <laughs> time in the Commonwealth. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching.